Hey everybody, Resmatter here, and welcome to my new anime react series. So I recently finished uh, Bochi the Rock, and I really loved it. And I wanted to continue on with like the light-hearted stuff because if this is your first time on my channel, first of all, hello, welcome. Uh, but I do tend to play and watch more kind of dark psychological horror type of things. So this was a nice break in that and I want to continue on with the lighthearted stuff. And uh, so I'm going to be starting Spy Family today. And those of you who are into anime probably need no introduction to Spy Family. I'm sure all of you guys have seen it before. Uh, it somehow passed me by. Uh, it's like the most popular anime that's come out in the past few years. And it was like impossible to escape it for a while. Um, and I know that the second season is coming out soon, so I'm just a touch behind, but you know what? Better late than never. And this is a series that uh, specifically my husband has been begging me to watch because he thinks I'm really going to enjoy it. And I think I will too. And I'm excited to get started on this. So I hope you guys are going to enjoy this new series. We're going to be watching episode one today. And of course, I will give you guys my thoughts afterwards. So without further ado, let's jump right in and let's watch episode one of Spy Family. Oh, damn. Okay, well, this is starting strong. Okay, I have to try and keep... remember this. <laughs> I'm guessing that's going to be our main dude, Twilight. Although, I do know the main characters' names. Um, there's Lloyd, and then there's Yor, and of course Anya. I love Anya. I've just seen like memes and stuff of her, and I love her already. <laughs> oh, well, that's got to be him, right? There he is. Why do I have a feeling I'm going to be thirsting after this guy? <laughs> like... Robert. I know his name isn't Robert. <laughs> Oh, jeez. <laughs> well. Oh my gosh. Damn. That's also because her name is Karen. He's like, I know what I'd be getting into with a Karen. Okay, yeah, the toupee thing. So he just got close to her to get information on her father. Except we know then he's going to end up with the... Uh, with Anya and Yor, so he's probably just doing that for like a, a mission, you know, but then he's probably gonna like become attached to them. Especially Anya, because like what little I've seen of her, like how could you not? She's so freaking cute. I think that's like 80% of the reason why my husband was like, you've got, you are gonna love spy family is because she's so cute. <laughs> there we go. That's it. That's it. That's how it all starts. Oh, wow. Okay. That's, that's a lot just to get close to this guy. He's like, you have to have a kid to enroll in the school just to be able to get close to this guy. And one week, in one week, he has to, he has to come up with a kid... <laughs> And a wife? 
Are they not going to provide him with the child? You think that would be the bare minimum? It's like, you know, you must provide your own kid. I guess that's truly the sign of somebody who is selfless, right? It's like they're doing something knowing that they won't get any accolades, they won't get any rewards for it. Nobody will know what they've done, but they're doing it for the betterment of the country. <laughs> He's checking it out to see if there's like any like wiretaps, yeah. I wonder if there's like any significance between or for like Lloyd Forger, you know, like is or is that just a name that was given? Oh, he's like, oh, I haven't figured that out yet. <laughs> the thing about adoption doesn't it take like a long time? Oh, okay. Well, never mind. Yeah, obviously he doesn't give a shit. Yeah, not the best place. He probably just wants to get rid of the kids because it takes like months, if not years, to adopt through, well, more legal means. <laughs> there she is. She's literally sparkling. She's so amazing. Oh, there she is. Oh, she's so cute. No. <laughs> oh, that's right. Yes, I think that's a thing too, is like she can read minds. And that's why she's saying like he said she's got to be six. So she's saying like, I'm six years old. Oh, is the sparkling, is that like her reading minds? Like that's a sign that something is happening? Oh, the sad thing too is like, she heard him say that she was like a creepy, disgusting brat. That's so sad. He probably says that a lot in his head. <laughs> Yes, there we go, yeah. Also the fact that she's got like pink hair, that tells you right, it's like she's something special. Of course she was gonna be the person that was chosen. Anya. He's so cute. <laughs> that wasn't necessary. <laughs> but she's like, sorry, Papa. And of course she likes something about spies and she just happens to be adopted by a spy. Oh, and his name is Forager. <laughs> he's got to forge something. I love the fact, too, like, he's just gonna leave her at home like she's a dog. Like, you'll be okay, six-year-old child that I just adopted. <laughs> Crap. 
creature. I mean, in a way, she's she's certainly different. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like, are you dumb? Maybe you're not as smart as I thought. <laughs> oh no, maybe he's like, oh shoot, she's not very smart actually. <laughs> oh no, he's like, I mean, I gotta return her. I gotta get another one. Oh my gosh, like literally. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the whole thing was like, don't draw attention to yourselves, but of course a kid is gonna draw attention because they're kids. Oh my gosh, so cute. Even the drool on his... <laughs> I know he's coming off as like really cold, but you know he's gonna like... You know he's gonna get more uh, emotionally attached and he's going to open up a little bit, but... I like him when he's all dressed up, but I like him this way, just kind of dressed down, scruffy hair. The hardest mission of all, parenthood. No, you won't. You say this, come on, we know that's not gonna happen. He's gonna love her. How could you not? But then I say this and then, but then you got, of course, you got kids throwing tantrums. And he's like, I don't have time for this. I'm guessing she has to keep that to herself. She can't let people know she's a telepath. <laughs> Once again, that is a child, that is not a dog. <laughs> I know you're an emotionless spy, but even you must know that that's not a good thing to do. <laughs> she probably just sees this as like, I'm playing hide and seek. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a game. Oh, that doesn't look good. Yeah, I was gonna say, if someone would pass me by, that, and then with the kid just whining, be like, ah, oh, Papa. I wonder if there's gonna be some information about her being in, like, what was it, like a lab or something? I wonder if she freaks people out with her mind reading and that's why she kept being returned. Oh yes, they say this, like, don't get attached. She's totally gonna get attached, absolutely. God, why is she just ah? Every time she's on screen, I just want to like reach to the screen and just pinch her cheeks. <laughs> oh no! Why would you say that in your even in your head? I guess that's a kind of a normal thing to make sure that you know the password. But oh no, what is she doing? Oh, no, Anya, what are you doing? Oh, shoot. Wait, did, did Anya? All right, sorry if there was like a little bit of a weird jump cut. My webcam decided to freeze on me. But, like, did Anya know she was sending that specific thing? 
Like, did she know she was sending things saying, like, Twilight, here, catch me if I, if you can. Aww. Okay, well, that answers that question about how, like, I said, does she need to keep that a secret? Oh my gosh, as if she couldn't be more adorable. Ugh. So that's why she was saying the thing about like, I have to, we have to understand each other for world peace or something like I'm the key to world peace. So that's like her mission. Oh no, Anya, she just led them right to, to them. I guess he's always on alert, right? You have to be. Oh, there's gonna be so I have a feeling there's gonna be some cool action scenes in this, right? I guess it makes sense if it's a uh, it's about spies. I wonder if he's gonna be like, is it even worth getting her? Like why? Why? Oh, you son of a... Oh, oh. Oh no, baby. Oh. Did she, like, did she send those transmissions just to be like, I want to see Daddy, I want to see Papa in action. I think it was an accident, though, the way that she said, like, the transmission. She seemed surprised that that would send people over. Oh. Well, I mean, unlike Bochi, there's definitely going to be some darker moments here. <laughs> but there's still definitely going to be, like, some humor as well. Oh, shit. Hell yeah. Damn, he's so good. Yeah, we knew it. Come on, we knew that he couldn't leave Anya behind. <laughs> oh my goodness. Aww. Aww. This is why kids suck. And yet he can't help himself, but like... Oh, here we go. We're getting into his backstory. Oh, It seems like the aftermath of, like, war or something. She's gonna unlock, like, those thoughts within him. Yeah. He's gonna make her, or she's gonna soften him. Maybe that's the reason, yeah, he wanted to be a spy was because, like, of war, and he lost his family. Aww. Aww. But then she's hearing that, she's like, no, you're getting rid of me? But she's still going. Aww. Aww. That's so sweet. So there we go. So he's doing this for, like, a good reason. So that's why he wants to be a spy. Like I was saying, it's probably because, like, he lost his family in, like, what looks like a war. And he doesn't want other kids to suffer. See? I knew he had a soft side. I knew it. Why did that make me a little emotional? And then, like, Anya heard that, too. She's like, Papa's a hero. Like, he's doing that for her. He doesn't want her to get hurt. He's like, oh, I know her very intimately. 
Oh, okay. Well, yeah, he does. <laughs> oh, interesting. You know, she's totally hiding behind that box, isn't she? There she is. Oh. Oh. Yeah, exactly. Not sending her away. Oh, I love that. She's like, you don't want me to cry because you don't want children to cry. Oh. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. He was going to fall for her and fall in love with her. Because it's like the guy said, there is a connection between the two of them, right? <laughs> Not having parents or losing their parents and uh, having to change their name. Not having a <laughs> guac. <laughs> Not having like a, you know, a home, a true home and a family. All right, things are moving along, man. They're getting right to the entrance exam. <laughs> it's just like, why am I around all the dumb kids? <laughs> no. Also, I wonder what those little things on her head are for. She had like the little buns. I wonder if that's for her like telepathy, telepathy, whatever. Hey, look at him. He's showing some emotion. He's actually happy. Oh. <laughs> he, he had a moment of happiness and his body didn't know what to do about it. That was amazing. Is that it? Aw. Alright, that was a great first episode. I guess, yeah, when you're a spy, like, you're constantly on high alert. Like, your body doesn't allow you time to relax. So he just had that moment where it's like he sounded like a regular person. He was proud of her. And he said he relaxed and it's just like, for that one moment, it's just it all caught up to him. It's got to be a thankless job, though, being a spy, right? They said about, like, how he won't be in the papers, he won't get any medals, nobody will know the things he's done, but he has his reasons for doing it. And you just have to live a life where you can't have a normal life or a family, things like that. But I'm pretty sure that's what this is all going to be about, though. It's like having to be spies <laughs> and then getting to have a family. Papa died. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, that's that's awkward. <laughs> oh, my heart. Damn. Hot guys are even hotter when they have cute kids and they show like that fatherly instinct even though he didn't mean to. <laughs> that was cute for about 3 seconds. Oh, both parents. 
Operation Get Mama. They need a mama now. And that's where yours gonna come in. Next mission. <laughs> oh, there she is. There she is. So yeah, we see a couple of women there. It, it's a little disappointing that I, like, know who Yor is, or I know of her. I don't know much about her, but, like, obviously she's going to be the one. Um, so, yeah, I'm really excited to see the second episode. We're going to have, like, the next main character introduced, and then they can be the true spy family. All right, guys, so first episode, I am really liking this so far. It is a good mix of comedy and action and sweet moments, and I... Absolutely love Anya as I expected to just based on like the pictures and the clips I've seen of her before I've even watched this I knew I was gonna like her and they did a really good job of like establishing The characters that we've been introduced to so far. So Lloyd aka Twilight um, You know knowing that he's kind of like ultimate spy um, Only cares about the mission does not get himself involved in like his like relationships or if he does they're only to further the mission he's not an emotional person he's constantly on edge he doesn't want to get attached as expected of a spy and we we learn why he is the way he is so he has kind of like a, a reason tied to his childhood that he buried deep down in his subconscious but Anya's kind of bringing that out of him and he obviously went through some hardships and then became a spy so that no other child has to go through what he went through so of course you know, with Anya kind of being in a similar situation uh, to him with like not having parents that she remembers and not having a stable uh, family or a home. Of course, he was eventually going to give in and care for her a little bit. Uh, we see the beginnings of like maybe a, a true father-daughter relationship and Anya is just so precious. And I just love the fact that she is obsessed with spies and she just happened to be adopted by a spy and she also happens to be a telepath. What are the odds of that? So uh, just really good first episode. I thought it was a good mix of, yeah, like some action scenes, little, some little darker scenes, the comedy, the emotional beats, just all really good, all well tied in and um, moving along quite a bit. So I, I believe this first season is 24 episodes, which I mean, already twice as long as Bochi, so I'm I'm impressed with like how long or how quickly like we've already got like the two of them together. She passed the entrance exam, so she's going to be entering that uh, school in order for him to get close to his target. And the next mission is to find a wife. From what I could see, it looked like um, a lot of the girls were dressed up the same way, so maybe they were like interviewing for a wife. So I wonder if these women if they were selected by the spy agency to be, uh, maybe they're either completely oblivious to uh, Lloyd and what he is, or maybe they are fellow spies and they're part of the mission as well. Yor, I don't know if she's part of this or if she's something completely different and maybe he just happens to like run into her and I don't know, he convinces her that they should get married. Like this thing has to move along quite quickly. Um, so I, I'm interested to see like how that's going to happen. Um, and also that dude that gave him the information was dressed up as a woman for some reason. I wonder how that's going to tie in. Uh, but yeah, so far, uh, I really like the characters. Anya's adorable. Lloyd, I feel like he has a lot of potential to soften up and become a more emotionally open person. And I think um, Yor is going to bring that out of him as well. I don't know much about her. I love her design though. It's just a attractive people uh, with a cute kid and it's and just getting into hijinks and adventures and I think it's going to be a good time. So the first episode I uh, quite enjoyed and I have a good feeling I'm going to like this one like I did with Bochi. Uh, so I'm glad I'm finally watching this. I just want to gush to my husband uh, when he gets home about like how cute she is. And I, <laughs> I knew he was expecting that. It was probably one of the big reasons why he thought I was going to like this show because I'm not normally like big on kids I'm kind of like with Lloyd on that about how like I do find kids can be quite annoying but she is just so precious and I guess I find like if you do a kid right in like a, a show or a game or like media it's very hard but when you do they're just like adorable and you you just love them and you want to protect them so <laughs> I I could see why Lloyd just kind of like very quickly 
went from calling her a creature and being like, I'm going to dump her off at the orphanage once this is all over. This is like, you know, I'm basically just using her to... I'm going to keep her around for a little bit more and protect her. And I don't want her to get into any danger, but I don't want to get rid of her either. And I'm sure you're... I feel like she is going to be the same way, maybe. I don't know if she's like a spy as well, or like what her whole deal is. Uh, but I feel like maybe she'll be the same way, where she's kind of like badass and stuff, but then she's gonna... She's gonna fall for Anya as well, and just think she's just the most precious thing. So I'm really excited to get like the third part of this family uh, in the mix, and be introduced to her, and see how that's gonna go. So that's gonna do it for me, guys. I hope you did enjoy my reaction and discussion for episode one of Spy Family. I really think I'm going to like this show. Hopefully you'll stick around with me for the rest of it. Uh, I will try and get two episodes out a week if possible. No promises that I'm going to be able to do that all the time. It really depends on my schedule. So I'm hoping the next episode will be able to come out this coming Thursday, Wednesday for my patrons. Uh, also a reminder, my Patreon, you will get to see the full uh, video um, with like the audio from uh, the show. So if you want to see the whole thing, my Patreon is in the description if you want to check that out. And uh, yeah, anyway, that'll do it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to catch you for episode two. Until then, bye. Special shout out to my top tier patrons. Emily Hornsby, Zorin Ether, Revealing Storm, Asborn Kennedy, Icognito, and Harry Gazif.